So, uh, this is completely not our audience whatsoever. So, uh, so far as I can say, all you soy, dr soy milk drinking little pieces of shit can lick my balls if you don't like it. Either way, I'm flying home tomorrow. You gotta go to work. <laughs> Missouri, you moron. I'm gonna shoot it, I'm gonna shoot it. 
he's scratching himself. What? The drummer needs something in the monitors over here. What? 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 Guitars he needs in the monitors over here. The drummer. Pretty boy John Lafada needs a little guitar there in the monitor. Oh, Gary, see if he's got anything in there. That good? That's it? That's all you need? That's all he all asks for, is that so much? All right, moving right along. We shall keep going. down here for a teen talk. Hey, CBJV. It's all right. What's your problem? You're amongst friends. You can talk. It's all right. Really? They'll go away. They always do. Oh, that one's in fucking Bayonne by now. It's going down the boardwalk in fucking AC right now. It is. <laughs> hey, you know. What are you gonna do? Well, well, well. So, um, yeah, we did this, uh, stinky shows about a month ago or so. We did five shows in four days. It was a rock marathon, let me tell you. Now, we made good money. We ain't looking to make that today, but. Uh, <laughs> well, we're here anyway. We ain't got nothing to sell other than ourselves. Ooh, but, um, yeah, exactly. What happened to that AF show? Watch this, John Finberg. I believe he's here in the audience. Finberg. Look up in the dictionary. In other words, Shylock. It's got his picture right there. Ask your dad what Shylock means. Go! Making friends left and right. You'll never play this town again. <laughs> I'm running you out on the rail. I'm gonna rub you out, see? Rub you out. <laughs> You're a twisted. Uh, no, no, wait a minute. You're a twisted man. A spider there is. <laughs> 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 
No, I know what my answer is. It's no. Indulge us, please. Anyway, <laughs> whoa, what are we doing? Oh, this was the title track of our hit album that we made all the money from. <laughs> and then MCA spent it on us. A little number called Love Song for the Honor. Yeah. 
mine if you don't fucking like it. Rich just to Friends, Tyler. Can we get refunds? Yeah, us. We want our money back. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, I know. I know. Punjabi Kebab House. Directly two bucks in association with Halal Entertainment. Present Shelter. There we go. Go figure. No figure. One and a Well. Well. They said the, the other night I'm drinking a Cody Island High. Yeah, really, I was. I swear to God. It was a freak thing, but I was doing it. <laughs> it's like late at night, door was closing up and waiting for my buddy Roger, who's the bartender, to, you know, so we can get out of there. He's a fat guy. Hey, I'm fat. I can call other people fat. This fat guy comes up to me. He's like, how you doing? I'm like, yeah, how you doing? He's like, you know me? I'm like, ah, who are you? Well, I know you. I'm like, oh, you know me? Who are you? He's like, I'm the teacher. I'm like, the teacher? What, calculus, algebra, what? He's like, maybe you've heard of me. He's like, no, I never heard of you, Mr. Teacher. And he's looking at me. Well, I thought maybe Timmy told you of me. I'm like, no, Timmy have not told me of you. And he's walking away, and I'm yelling, teacher! What's way? Who's the teacher? So if you ever see a guy that comes up to you and he says, I know you, you know me, it's probably the teacher. And if it is him, smack him right in the fucking mouth. Because I was having a good time drunk and I got some fat guy telling me he's the teacher. And then I had some homo haircut guy yelling at me later on. God, a guy just can't go out and get drunk anymore. For Christ sakes. Woo! But anyway, what are we doing here? What? This has absolutely nothing to do with what I was just talking about. I just thought I'd let you know what goes on in the 
you know, what a, the takes. The glamorous life, exactly, thank you. Yes. Oh, and it is glamorous. Let me tell you. Ha! So here's a little song about, um, freaking. <laughs> here's a little song about a, a guy. Yeah, we get all the women, don't you? That's me. I love it when they call me Big Papa. I'm funky. I get freaky. Come on, that's, I'm trying to relate to you kids. That's that hip lingo, right? Don't laugh at me, God. Sensitive man here. Here's a little number called Broken. Broken. 
belief I do not sing in the shower. I don't. The neighbors, they complain. They yell at me. Hey, with the potty mouth. God. There are children present. What about the French? What about the French? Tyler's French. French fry. French toast, French onion soup. What am I talking about? Yeah, okay, whatever there, pal. Whatever you say there. Well, anyway, here's one that, oh, it's going to go out to this little fucking maniac over here. His favorite song of all time, God Only Knows Why. I myself haven't sang this song in a couple of years, so <laughs> you're in for a treat.
Go down the little trip down memory lane there. Oh, yeah. Hey, I tell you. Oof. Memory. <laughs> memory lane. Hey, well, you get what you pay for. And a lot of you kids didn't pay for us, which is kind of funny. But it's uh, too late. <laughs> oh, it's too late. It's never too late. You can always leave. Really, you could. Standing around staring at me like this is some sort of freak show. God. Rude. Oddity. Oh, I'm an oddity now. I used to, there was a point in time where I was a commodity. Now I'm just an oddity. That's what happens. That's what happens. So if any of you kids like starting bands now and like thinking maybe you want to fucking like do this for a living, join a fucking union. Hardcore scene, my ass. I really could care less about any of this fucking bullshit. I flew out here for the hell of it. What the hell? We were going to play that big stupid ass show last night. That didn't happen. No, didn't happen. Shyster, Shylock. <laughs> didn't happen. Fell through. Whoops. Go figure. A fuck up in the hardcore scene. <gasps> I'm shocked. I thought you were all united by now and, like, you'd be doing things. God, if you get after all these years, you get something to go right. Nah. What happened? I don't know. Joey, what'd you do? I didn't fucking do anything. Why is it always me? Jesus. What a mess. Ah, with that noise. God almighty. The contraption he's got over there. What are we doing? That's it. Just one, two. The next year terror show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll hold your fucking breath. Who the hell knows? Whenever we want to make more money. Maybe we'll put out another record. <laughs> Maybe. You know? Be like a techno record or something. It's popular now. You like the, you like, the kids like the techno, right? They said in fucking Spin Magazine, you kids like the techno. Don't make me look stupid. God, somebody's giving me the wrong information. It was the teacher, I bet. Well, here's a little dance number we're going to leave you off with. Kiss and goodbye are coming up next. Check them out. They're a bunch of freaks. Thanks very much for dealing with this and whatever. Lick balls. Hey, little dance summer for the ladies. Oh, that 
underlying message in there somewhere. Figure it out, jerk off.
this jerk off that fucking film thing, recovering alcoholic, drug addict, whatever the fuck he was. Instead of like having like a dolly, like moving a camera, he fucking found some piece of crap fucking baby carriage. And he had some poor schlub of his like pushing him like by us, like talking this little camera like because he was a professional. It was five grand. Fucking money well spent. We got a fucking baby carriage out the deal. And some fucking skinny bitch telling me I can't drink beer. Well, you're on the set, you can't drink beer on the set. I mean, some jerk goes basement, fucking Soho. You're on the set, you can't drink. I'm paying you five grand to push this fucking fag around in a fucking baby carriage. You're telling me I can't drink? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Interview thing, and I heard some fucking uh, whatever with that in effect. That's that, right? People complain a lot. All you guys talked about was money and this. You guys are a bunch of dicks. Wow, duh. <laughs> Since when haven't I said I wasn't? <laughs> and when all these other bands are reading the interviews, uh, saying, oh well, if we talk like Paul and she Tara, we'll never get a show again. What well, indecision was the name of that band? I read that stupid magazine. If we talk like Paul Machine Terror, we never get in there show again. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you fat little faggot, you should never get a fucking show again because if you ain't gonna balls and speak your mind, shut your fucking mouth! No! Not for nothing, but I thought that's what this whole thing was about. No! I didn't realize it was about making friends and making nice with everybody. Fuck all of you! Like, I would ever invite any of you mongoloids over my house for dinner. Like, give me up like I go to your house for dinner. You probably eat fucking spaghetti out of a can, you white trash. <laughs> Life ain't easy when you're fat and greasy, but right now I'm feeling pretty fucking good. We ain't got too many fucking songs that have some sort of message. There you go. Charles Manson wants to speak. But you know, you got your fucking communist, anarchist, fucking whatever, crass punk freaks on one side. And on the other side, and in the middle, rather, you have your Harry Krishna fucking weirdo shelter freaks. And then on this side, you got your fucking right wing and the NSDAP Nazi fucking freaks from hell. And I tell you the goddamn truth, they all suck dick from here to eternity. Fuck the Nazis, fuck the Krishnas, and fuck the political freaks. This is punk rock, this is hardcore, this is supposed to be fucking fun. What is somebody running for office that you have to be politically correct? What the fuck is politically correct? All politics are shit. Four more shows here in Germany. And in all fucking goddamn 28 or whatever the hell it was, none of the fucking women like us. And you know what? You really cannot blame them. We're in fucking Brooklyn. Woohoo! It's like Saturday Night Fever all over again. Yelling at me, like I understand what you're saying. I haven't heard any fuck yous yet. What a bunch of sheep. This one goes out. You know, the funniest thing about that is I can still start a fight without even going on stage. You people are a bunch of fucking retards and you wonder why we broke up. You fucking jerk. Hey, shut up, you Teletubby.